welcome to this session on concept of foreign key constraint in this session we are going to discuss very important concept of relational database management system that is foreign key constraint in this session we will discuss why there is a need of foreign key to enforce integrity of data we will discuss its syntax and we will highlight different options in the syntax to enforce foreign key constraints let's start this session let us understand the concept of foreign key constraint through employee department database for this we have employee table here we have employee number employee name job and department number as its column and i have inserted five records in our university let's suppose only three departments are allowed and that is 10 20 and 30 i cannot apply check constraint for this because departments can be added or removed in future for this the solution is foreign key to implement it i will create a master table named as department with columns department number and department name and insert all valid department numbers into this table department number of department table will be made is primary key to enforce integrity of data department number of employee table will make as foreign key it means it will refer department number of department table for its validity only those values are allowed in department number column of employee table that exist in department table only 10 20 and 30 is allowed in department number column of employee table if i try to insert a new employee of 6 and assign it to department number 40 it will be not allowed because corresponding department number is not present in master department table department number of employee tables refer to primary key of department table for its validation that's why department number of employee table is called as foreign key thus foreign key is used to enforce referential integrity of data and it drives its value based on primary key of some other table the table to which it refer is known as master or parent table and the table in which foreign key is present is known as child table its syntax is column name data type size references table name and column name here references table name is master table and in braces we have to supply the column name of master table to which it refers we can also specify on delete restrict on delete cascade or on delete set null during creation of foreign key we will discuss the importance of these in next coming slides now let us implement foreign key on employee department database first step will be to create master department table for this department number is primary key second step will be to create employee table and in this department number is foreign key and it refers department tables department number for validation of its value let us consider a case where user try to delete department number 30 record from department table it should not be allowed because then record of employee number 5 will become invalid or i can achieve this through on delete restrict constraint on foreign key and it is a by default option on foreign key constraint but what will be the solution if we have to delete department number 30 from department table then the solution is on delete cascade constraint where department number 30 will be removed from both department and employee table at the same time so if we issue this statement with on delete cascade constraint then department number 30 will be removed from department as well as employee table it means if department closes then corresponding employees will be fired but sometime we wish to remove department number records without deleting corresponding employees 
they then the solution is on delete set null in this corresponding records of employees will not be removed but their department number will be set to null here department number 30 has been removed from department table but their corresponding employee exists and its department number will set to null we achieve this through on delete set null constraint to implement these concept we can specify it during creation of foreign key constraint here department is a parent table and employee is a child table we have applied on delete restrict constraint during creation of foreign key it means we cannot remove master record or parent records if they have their corresponding child record present in child table we can also specify on delete cascade to remove both parent and child record at same time we can specify on delete set null to set null in child table if corresponding parent record has been removed now let us summarize the concept we have learned in this session in this session we have understood the importance of foreign key constraint we have discussed its different options like on delete restrict on delete cascade and on delete set null to enforce integrity of data in next session we will demonstrate its concept we will also discuss default constraint and different means to access information about constraints applied on a table in coming session you are further requested to read more on creation of table with constraints in reading section of week 2 thanks for watching this video